The US Secretary of State has told Sky News that the future of the seas is as much as a global threat as world conflict. This week, John Kerry has been presiding over his third annual Our Oceans Conference to counter what he sees as a security issue for everyone across the globe. The oceans are a security threat challenge. The state of the oceans are a security challenge for everybody in the world. They are under siege by overfishing, which is a food challenge to people in the world and an ecosystem breakdown challenge. Uh, they are polluted in many, many places. There are more than 500 dead zones in the ocean now, which will affect spawning grounds and the future of the ecosystem. So the oceans are threatened. We get 50% of the oxygen that we breathe on this planet from the oceans. Well, Dr. Enric Sala is a marine ecologist and explorer in residence at National Geographic. He joins us now from Washington. Now, many thanks indeed for being with us. Uh, very strong words then from the U.S. Secretary of State. Do you agree with him? Absolutely. Uh, the ocean is the largest thing we have on our planet. It covers 70 percent of the surface of Earth. Yet it is one of the big uh, ignored assets. It provides jobs for hundreds of millions of people. It gives us 120 million tons of seafood every year, yet we are killing fish faster than they can reproduce, polluting the ocean, 8 million tons of plastic going to the ocean every year, and climate change is destroying marine life everywhere. These conferences uh, are often described as a bit of a, a talking shop, the chance for people to, to gather and uh, just chat where actually not a lot actually happens or is done. What's different about this conference? This is the highest level conference dedicated exclusively to oceans. And this conference, the main goal is to make commitments. So governments come here to make commitments, to create, to announce the creation of new protected areas, to announce new funds for fighting illegal fishing, to announce new initiatives to combat climate change. So governments are not invited here to talk. They are invited only if they can come and make a real action. So explain what you mean by uh, marine protected areas. This is all to do with overfishing, isn't it? It's all about uh, fishing mostly. We are taking fish out of the ocean faster than they can reproduce, yet only 3% of the ocean is protected today, compared to 15% of the land. And these marine protected areas, these national parks in the sea, are key to ensure that fish populations can replenish themselves and help to replenish uh, fishing areas. Because right now, 97% of the ocean is like a bank account where everybody withdraws, but nobody makes a deposit. And these marine parks are savings accounts, areas with a principle set aside where marine life comes back and helps to replenish the surrounding areas. As you're talking to us, we're looking at pictures of uh, debris, of rubbish, of plastic that has gathered in the ocean. And this is something else you're discussing, isn't it? Because plastic is a real problem. Plastic is great for us. We have so many uses for plastic. The problem is that we discard plastic as fast as we produce it. And every year, these 8 million tons of plastic uh, enter in the ocean, and they kill hundreds of thousands of seabirds, sea turtles, marine mammals. And the problem is that these plastic pieces, a plastic a water bottle or uh, a sandal, when they degrade, under the effect of the sun and the waves, they become very, very small particles. So the ocean has become a plastic soup. And right now, a big percentage of the fish actually ingest pl plastic that we end up eating ourselves. So what are we going to do about that? Because it is such a problem. How can it possibly be solved? The best thing we can do is to prevent these massive amounts of plastic going into the ocean. And there are many ways of doing this, but we need to move into what's called the circular economy. So instead of producing something that has a short life and then it's discarded, we need to produce materials that have a use over its entire lifetime. So everything has to be recyclable. OK, well, many thanks uh, for joining us. We'll let you get back to that conference in Washington now. Dr. Enric Sala, a marine ecologist. Thank you.